the water looks as sparkling and blue-green as ever. The surf booms ashore and splashes a froth on Pensacola Beach. Nice to look at this week, but off limits to swimming after thick globs of oil polluted stretches of the normally snow-white sand. It was a thoroughly disgusting sight to Claudia Nippenberg of Slidell and her son Clay. It's sickening. It, it, I'm, it, I'm frustrated. I'm angry. I'm sad. Uh, to see what's happening. It's just, it's horrible. It's, it, I don't think the Gulf of Mexico will ever be in my lifetime what it was three months ago. You can't get in the water, you can't, it's ruined. We've fished for many years, it's ruined that. Double red flags flew at the main public beach, signaling the water was off limits to swimmers. So was a large section of beach roped off by caution tape to allow cleanup crews to scoop up the oil. Tourists washed in street clothes, not bathing suits. How in the hell they let this happen? That's what I'm feeling like. I've lived for all my life, Bill, and to see our beautiful white sand look like that, it was just devastating. I mean, it's hard, um, but um, I mean, I think Pensacola can survive it because, I mean, they had like two hurricanes back to back, and I wasn't too sure about how everything was going to survive after Katrina. Pam Jones of Birmingham was one of the few diners at the dock, a beachside hotspot normally packed during the summer. Uh, it should be very crowded. It's, uh, it's hard to look out there knowing it's the peak of our season and the beach is empty. There's nobody out there. We've only got a couple of tables inside with people eating, so it's, it's tough just to see how bad business has gotten because of the, because of the oil spill. Businesses like the dock report sales down as much as 50% since the spill started, but the phones began ringing wildly at the Chamber of Commerce once the oil hit the beach on Wednesday. Now, merchants here are afraid business will plummet through the rest of the vital summer season. We know it's that's just the beginning, and it's just going to get worse and worse. So, yeah, everybody's really worried about this season. Just come sit by me. <laughs> Bathers flock to beaches on the bay side of the island that were not touched by the oil, while Santa Rosa Island leaders concentrated on getting the beach cleaned and swimming reopened as soon as possible. It's something they know they must become proficient at. My main concern is the people walking through the oil to get to the beach. Once we get that, then they can look down there and they can make an intelligent decision. Next week is normally one of the busiest weeks in the entire summer, 4th of July week. And Pensacola Beach is one of the favorite vacation play spots for people from New Orleans and across southeast Louisiana. But this year, since the oil has begun coming in, is this still the place to vacation? I'm here. <laughs> no, I would say come, come to Pensacola, come to Perdido Key. You might be able to get in the water, you might not be able to get in the water, but there's a lot of other things to do. Island leaders say plans for special events are not being interrupted by the oil. We're going to put on the July 4th air show, okay? The beach is still going to be open. I had a friend of mine in the hotel business that said, Buck, out of all our guests, about 20% of them go on the Gulf. The other 80% hang around the pool. So hopefully they'll come. You can still walk along the beaches. You can still enjoy the natural beauty. And this area needs your dollars. They need the tourists. They, if we abandon them, their whole economy is going to suffer. The question is, how many times will they have to go through this? From Pensacola Beach with photographer Russell Drury, I'm Bill Capo, Eyewitness News, Nightwatch.